Hello and welcome to the Dragon Block Apollo installation guide. Today I'll be showing you how to install our mod pack on the Technic Launcher Forge, which is the Minecraft method, where you'll be using the, uh, the normal Minecraft launcher to run mod packs. And some other quick mentions on some uh, other launchers that either directly allow you to install our mod pack or you can set it up the same as Minecraft itself. So first off, we're gonna go over to head head on over to technicpack.net. You don't need to type the .net, but it should be the first one. There's also a link in the description. It'll be link number one. All right. So once we're here, we're gonna want to head over to download. Now we're gonna have to install the launcher first. So depending on your operating system, which you you'll know if you're not on Windows, for instance. But you're gonna go ahead and grab the Windows one. And then once that's downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and run it, and it will boot up. Now mind you, for me, I already have it installed. However, for you, you'll have to do the setup process where you will define the path it will go to. You can just click through that, get it set up, and then you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and log in, which is as simple as clicking down here and signing in with your Microsoft account. Now mind you, if you haven't migrated your My Microsoft account, you can do so with the link in the description, link number two, takes you to a Minecraft article all, all about it that they've made. So once signed into the Technic Launcher, you're gonna wanna head over to the Mod Packs tab and you're gonna go ahead and type in Dragon Block Apollo. And then you should see it, the first one on the list right here. Um, you can tell it's uh, our pack by looking at the installs and the runs, they should be a little bit higher than this count depending on when you're watching this the mod pack is managed by zeros on and yeah or you can also use link number three in the description you could paste it right here in the search bar and that will also pull up the mod pack for you next all you have to do is install the mod pack all right so once that's done you're just gonna go ahead and click play so yeah once you're uh, in game you'll be able to get started and if you have any questions feel free to join our discord and ask Feel free to comment below. Uh, the Discord's better though, because then other other community members can help you. But alternatively, if you would like a quick setup installation, or not, sorry, not installation guide, but quick start guide, you can find it on screen now. It's a it's a few minute long uh, starting guide, teaching you how to start the quest, teaching you how to create a character, all stuff that you might not know if this is your first time on a Dragon Block server or our server specifically. And now for the Forge installation, you're going to want to start by heading to the Minecraft installation page, which can be found in the description is link number four. Once here, you're going to want to go ahead and download the launcher for Windows 10. I am pretty sure it updates depending on what uh, operating system you have, but if it doesn't, you could probably just Google Minecraft for Mac, Minecraft for Linux, etc. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and load up the Minecraft launcher. If it's your first time launching it, you have to go through the setup process to find where you want it to go. Uh, I would recommend leaving those at the default values. So mind you, I already have Forge, but uh, for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and new installation. So we're gonna go ahead in here. This will just be a 1.7.10 installation. Now mind you, this won't be the modded installation. This will actually be just 1.7.10 itself. All right, so we find release 1.7.10. You're gonna have to scroll down a bit. Uh, you don't need to change any of this. You're just gonna go ahead and create go back to play find that installation i have a few gonna just go ahead and run that you can go ahead and un i understand the risks and then we're gonna go ahead and boot that up and this is just for the sake of loading all the files mostly for those of you who are doing this for the very first time however even if you've already done this it's always good practice to make sure the mod pack installation is being set up properly you're just gonna want to go ahead and close this Next up, to play mod of Minecraft, we're gonna have to grab Forge. So you can head to the description again and grab link number five for the Forge page link. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the installer here. So go through this little ad. Do not click anything on these pages, just mind you. Good thing to know for modding. And pretty much anything on these pages is not something you want. Uh, the button will usually be in the top right. Anyway, uh, once you got the mod system installer open, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click install client. You shouldn't need to change this unless of course you've messed around with your installation so go ahead and do that successfully installed profile for forge great now we can go ahead and boot up minecraft once more and now that once we get minecraft open we will have the forge installation so now once minecraft is open you're going to want to go ahead and switch to this 1.7.10 profile it will probably be the latest on your list maybe it's set 
Um, so 1.7.10 forge, you're gonna go ahead and run it. Just like the vanilla, we wanna make sure all the files are present, everything's being loaded. This will load the mods folder and all of that for you. So next, we're gonna wanna go ahead and Next up, we're gonna go ahead and grab our mod pack files. You can find this in the description is link number six. I'm gonna go ahead and download those. And you'll get the Dragon Block C Apollo non-technic download. This might seem intimidating. Uh, don't worry. It's pretty simple. You're just gonna wanna go ahead and open this up or save it for later. But in case you don't have a archive program, you're gonna wanna go ahead and head to Google, whatever it is, type in WinRAR. WinRAR download free. Go ahead and click this button right here. Download WinRAR, go through the setup. For the sake of this video, I will not do that. However, it is very simple. If you need help, please just Google it or search it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and come to your search bar. You're gonna just go ahead and type in run, okay? And it's an app. You're gonna go ahead and boot that up, percent app data percent. So we're gonna go, we're gonna be in the app data roaming dot Minecraft. So now we're here. Mind you, I have a lot more folders. It doesn't matter what's in this folder. All you're gonna do is open up the .zip you previously installed. You should be looking at this, and you will just grab these three folders and drag them over. And now, mind you, it will put the folders where they need to be. It will put add the configs you need, the mods you need, and the resource packs you need. So now, as you can see, all my mods are present. Amazing. So now we can just close this close this boot up minecraft once more and this is your final step now once we're here we're just going to go ahead and run that 1.7.10 forge installation again but this time we have mods it will take a few more seconds to load let it do its first time setup now we are here on the mod pack landing page so all we're going to do is click official server this will take you right into the server and from there if you would like more help, a quick installation, uh, not installation, a quick startup guide on how to create your character, start your quests, etc., you can watch that video on screen now. As for other installers like Multi MC, Curse Forge, or the FTP launcher, uh, there's plenty of other launchers. A lot of them actually allow you to directly add Technic mod packs. Now, mind you, if they don't do that, Pretty much all you have to do is just set it up just like you did for Forge. Just put the mods in a 1.7.10 Forge pack. That's it. Um, and this section was brief, but I think that's all that really needs to be said about these other launchers. Uh, if you're using another launcher, you're probably already aware how to set it up. I just wanted to throw this in. There is other launchers if you don't like Technic. Um, yeah. Thank you guys all for watching. Um, yeah. Hope this helped out. Again, there is a getting started guide linked on the screen now.